Hello everybody and welcome here to a new episode of Q&A Your Time. In this week's episode I would like to share with you an idea that might be developed to, into a series. I don't know and we will see how it goes and it is um, the basic of the idea is about clavicode sound. You know on Authentic Sound I started that channel more than two years ago not with the idea of making eventually so many recordings and ending up with a lot of projects that we're going to do but there's no way to escape from the fact that I'm playing here daily mostly on my Eurospot Fliegen section instrument I share with you a lot of recordings that feature this instrument and rightfully so the sound of the instrument is being commented or may people suggest or share their opinions or impressions with this instrument that's that's how it is and that's fine because those of you who have own a clavichord or are just liking the sound of the clavichord of course you compare it to the sound of other uh, clavichords so the idea was developing in my mind to expand this instrument from time to time with recordings made on other instruments new instruments and i've done that recently and those videos will come up i think uh, it will be a, tri a trilogy um, with this instrument here by Christopher Clark, so a fretted, small fretted clavichord built in 78, 1978, and I've made three recordings in the beautiful 16th century chapel. I I think you will going to love that of those videos, uh, three of them. The last one is very special. I will not say anything about it. It's for very soon, but that instrument is obviously very different from st in style than from my instrument, and so. Even though I made a comparison video about the sound of three clavichords in which that little clavichord was involved, the style is so different that it is a video or a recording that serves only one purpose, is to show you the difference between the types of instruments. I, thinking about making more recordings on other instruments that are more related to this instrument and not only saxon instruments but bigger clavichords, um, there would, would be no way to escape from a certain element of comparison. And if you take this one step further, there would be a risk, I think it would be a risk that by playing myself on other instruments, that the comparison could lead to eventually a kind of competition. And you know how social media are and how these online forums are as great as it is. Yeah, they're pushing a little bit to, to do that because people like competitions now as they did in the 18th century but I would not like to be in the middle of something where people are discussing the length of tone or the decibels or the sound of the bass or the treble etc etc and moreover it is a recording so I, what can you tell I will make a video on that when I have time because I think it's necessary to address that so what I do um, plan to do however but that's a plan on long term is to go and find historical instruments that are accessible and that I can play on and of course comparing the instruments of your spot fleet as a builder I don't think that's something I should avoid because that those are all instruments of the same family and uh, from the same builder and then there is not a competition element in that so much as well a comparison between instruments that are really of the same type and the same builder so i i probably will make some more recordings on the fretted clavichord or other similar types of clavichords that are really different from my instrument i hope to be have to have access to some historical instruments and actually i have uh, developed some plans at least for one instrument cannot share too much on that because things have to be settled and arranged but I will not act not actively on the channel uh, make comparison or make other recordings that could lead to a comparison let alone a competition so I really would avoid that because what we like to do as a community I think as people who like live records classical music keyboard music piano for the harpsichord whatever is just to enjoy the beauty of instruments and music and as interesting it can be to have comparisons of instruments, I really would like to avoid the element of competition and it would be hard to. So having said that, I developed another plan and that's the plan of this uh, today's video. Is so why not ask you to share your preferred instrument and preferred in the best way. Um, that preferred instrument is the instrument that you're 
playing on daily or an instrument that you know exists that you've once have heard and that you really like and why not ask you to share that in these episodes every Wednesday maybe we will change the schedule but that's again for later so that it's not me who is playing but you the best of course would be if you could uh, share your instrument or an instrument that you are playing on so I was thinking on that and also there we have to set a certain rule so to say so do not let this um, go or glide into a kind of competition or um, commenting on each other's instruments if this ever would happen we'll see how it goes we'll see how you feel about that if you are um, feeling about sharing your instrument with me and to me with of course the community that actually exists around this channel so I have actually given this a deep torture this morning and I came up with a certain amount so with some rules and let's go through them and see if you like them so I would like to set two types of rules um, a technical one and something that goes much more to the content of things that you can share to a technical aspect I would ask to share only videos so it would be impossible for me to um, arrange things from a recording and some pictures and a text into a video because that that really takes too much of my time so if you could make a video in which this all is featured the best of course in uh, pl your playing that that would be fine um, it's easy today to upload a video and to make a video even go online uh, googling five minutes will provide you with many online tools or free programs that can uh, help you doing that and if not maybe in your environment you know somebody who can do it for you but once you have that video you can upload it to youtube i'll share you now how you can uh, feature that as an unlisted video and you can send a link to me well let's do that now on the computer so we are here at my desktop this is the home page of authentic sound but if you have a gmail account if you're able to comment on youtube videos whatever youtube will have provided you automatically with the youtube channel you not might use it so but if you are on youtube you go just to the button here's main canal in dutch but it's your channel featured in english or in whatever language you're watching this or your uh, it's your native language so then you here go to the creator button you go to creator studio you come on my home page of creator studio you will see the amount, enormous amount of money i'm making on youtube it's for 30 days but i'm happy with that you go to the button here upload that's the most important thing that's what we need you go to upload and then you open a folder where you find your video you just drag it it starts uploading and instead of setting private you set it in dutch verborgen but in english it is unlisted you save the link once it's ready and then you will youtube will provide you with a link here that link is the one you should share with me and then i can see it and nobody can find it that's something you should uh, be aware of so unlisted means really it's not available for google or youtube search so once you have done that you can share that link with me on a mail it's listed below my mail address so please go ahead and do that uh, more than sending me separate files that i have to download myself and stitch them together into a video because again that would really that's really time consuming and i would uh, i would really not have time for doing that so then as for the content of course the and i'm reading reading this because i think it's important to mention all that i've written the best of course would be to share your own instrument and really the best would be to share your own playing so you please don't mind the level of recording equipment you have even don't bother uh, the way you're playing i'm not asking <coughs> for you to be performing on a really really high level but just share it with us the way you perform the way you play every day and even use your phone as an equipment a recording tool it's it's maybe even the most easy, easy thing to do because you will have sound and video together it will be easy to upload on youtube so having said that one thing i will take into consideration however in order to share that is that the instruments should be in good condition and which should be tuned i think that's that's really essential to share the sound of an instrument 
that is the condition in which it is and certainly the tuning so um, a third element which is think which i think is very important is share some information about yourself uh, tell us what this instrument means to you is it your own instrument how do you um, well, how is your musical life around that instrument? Is there a story about it where you have bought it from who it is? Um, how long do you have it? Do you play often on it? And what do you play on it? So that we have a little bit, um, that we got to know you a little bit more alongside with the instrument you would like to feature. So, and the last thing, if you're not an owner of a known instrument, but you know several instruments or one instrument that you do like from recording, please do ask permission uh, from the player who is playing on that CD. If it is a CD, you really have to have the permission to share that footage online. If it is, of course, a YouTube video, things are easier because on YouTube, uh, the videos are on the public domain, but to um, avoid any misunderstandings, don't grab just a YouTube link and send it to me build your story around that instrument why it made some such an impression on you and in any case ask the players uh, who made the video or the recordings if it is okay to share that recording with us here on authentic sound that would be really necessary to do so and as a last rule to two, two, two small no what the last rule here is i would only feature instrument built by an instrument builder not by a self-built kit as much as these instruments can serve you as a player maybe um, and as helpful they are i don't think it should be wise to compare or to share or to make it, uh, this kind of videos with self-built instruments and build uh, instrument builds by a professional builder those two types of instruments i think cannot be compared so only instruments that are built by a professional builder um, will will be featured i think that's that's a good role to to um, have a kind of unity around this make the videos not longer than five to six minutes and i will tell you that's really difficult to do um, okay we see how that proceeds maybe no one will no one will reply and that's fine maybe some will reply maybe this needs time for people to uh, to think of maybe we will have to repeat this video a little bit over time because not everyone will see this video and will go with this video until the end but in any case what i want to emphasize here at the end of this video is that if we are going to do this this should be very uh, something very positive around the clave uh, from the clave community so i would really not want to see this go into a kind of series where people are commenting or are um, you can do that on my instrument and on my playing but please not on the, these videos that i shared this is really something from the core of clave uh, people people who like clave people even who consider themselves around this authentic sound channel to be part of this community as that's a modern word word and youtube world so be positive thumbs up always for people who share that it's it, it, the basic idea is that you give us all here on this platform a glimpse of your daily life as a musician professional whether it be amateur or a beginner that doesn't mind and your instrument if that's your preferred instrument or not maybe you share an instrument that you're playing on and that you really love you share that with us you say maybe you can say maybe that there are other instruments that that you would uh, like to have or to own or or that kind of sound of, of of type you would like to have anything you can cannot come up with but the basic idea again is that you share some of your clavichord world as small as, as it might be with us and i think that would be great because that would uh, lead us to um, a bigger um, a basket of sounds so to say clavichord sounds and at the end we get to know each other a little bit better and if there is one goal of social media is to get to know each other a little bit better and for me also it would very nice to know all of you also a little bit better because you know you're watching these videos of course i don't see you and um, it might be interesting just an idea we see how it develops or not develops and might take a long time we'll see how it goes anyway thank you for watching next week a new q a i hope because we are on holiday 
one week. I'll try to make a video. I have some interesting questions, but they need a little bit of research. And I had to promise my children almost on my bare knees not to work in holiday, which I can't because the little one Evelyn needs to learn swim, swimming. And so I will be a lot of time spending in the swimming pool. But the week after, you can expect a new video on Wednesday. See you then. Bye.